guys. It's Gina with Archangel Art Studio and today I am going to try something I've never tried. I am going to do a ring pour with a spin. I hope this works out well. I've got a big box here and I've got a 12 inch round Archangel board and a Lazy Susan under it. So I can spin it. I primed it white. And I am going to use Arteza Aquamarine, Arteza Gold, I've got Violet, and it's Master's Touch, Arteza White, and Arteza Phalo Green. They're all mixed with Floetrol and water. Um, I'm using no silicone in any of it, so it's just plain as it is. And I wanted to give a couple little shout outs here. Um, I'm a member of a pouring group called United We Pour on Facebook. It is an awesome group. You should check them out. Um, great people. It's better than a lot of groups that are so uptight over every little thing. This is a laid back and really cool group. And I also wanted to do a pay it, paint it forward shout out. Um, these are new and upcoming. Well, I don't know how new, but they're upcoming YouTubers. Um, they're worth watching. They've got some cool videos out. One is Artistic Pours and More by Jean Marie. And I hope it's Jean. It's J-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, but Artistic Pours and More. She's really good and Crafty Bugger. Um, I like their videos too, so check them out if you have a chance. All right. What I had wanted to do was to spin this as I pour, but I'm not that coordinated. So I've got all my paints in my cup and I'm just gonna do my little ring and then I'm gonna spin it. So hopefully this will do what I want it to do. And I'm not really sure, I've never done a tree ring pour, so I don't know how this is going to turn out at all. We're going to give it a try. And just see, and I'm already off to one side, I can tell. And I probably poured it way too fast. And I am running to one side because I'm not level. All right, well, there's that. And now I'm going to spin this booger and see what happens. And that's what happened. Hmm. Well, that's kind of cool and kind of interesting. I think because it got off to one side, it is kind of cattywampus. I'll spin it some more. And I'm actually going to tilt it a little bit. It's running very little because I didn't mix up a whole lot of paint. Hmm, that's interesting. I kind of like that. I wish all of it looked like this, but we got some really cool cells down here. 
I know my light's kind of glaring, so I don't know how to get my camera turned so you don't see the glare. But I like the colors. They play well together. And I like that design. That's pretty cool. What do you think? Do you like it? Let me pick it up. you can see some of the cells, some of the design. I think it's absolutely cool. And little cells are popping up here and there. I'm going to hit it with the heat gun. Let's see if some more pop out. That's what we got for sales, but you never know that it'll change as it sits. And I really like it. It was easy to do, and it gave a lot of cool designs. I don't know, I think there might have been a little something in the paint. Yep, I hate it when that happens, and I don't know why it happens. I think maybe it might be. I didn't shake it up well enough. All right, well, there you have it. That is my ring pour with a spin. I'm happy with the results. Uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to us and ring that bell so you'll get to see more videos. Uh, I appreciate everybody who comments we love to read your comments and we will respond to every comment um and remember check out the united we pour facebook group and be sure to check out the videos on youtube by artistic pours and more and crafty bugger okay i wanted to show you the piece when it was finished um i love it I think it turned out awesome. I'm really happy with the colors. I'm happy with the cells. The white really sealed up. And some of the green did. And I am happy with it. And there will be no little silicone divots or silicone to wipe off because there's no silicone in it. So there you have it. That is my ring pour with a spin. Until next time. Later, Tater.